guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be reviewing something that I'm really excited for, um, and that is the new Huda Beauty eyeshadow launch. It is um, her Haze Obsessions collection. I ordered only one of them because this is honestly the only one that I was like really interested in. She released three different shades. Um, one of them is the Khaki Haze, which is more of a green uh, tinted like olive green shade. There's also, I believe the Sand Haze, which is more of like neutrals, nude colors, and then also a purple haze, I believe. Um, but like I said, this is the one that caught my attention. I've actually been on the quest for green eyeshadows, specifically like olive green, uh, forest green tones for about two, a year or two now. Um, I think one of the first palettes that I purchased to try and achieve or get that or test out the olive green shades that I was looking for was when Jaclyn Hill released her vault collection and one of the palettes um, had like an army green color. Um, unfortunately, that color did not work out um, performance wise for me it just didn't do what I wanted it to do um, and then following that also in the dose of colors uh, Katie and Desi collection or their collaboration palette there was a green like kind of like a uh, what how could I describe it like a greenish yellow shimmer color but I've really been looking for an olive green khaki hence the palette um, shade. Huda Beauty also does have a emerald green Obsessions palette, which is another one of her little pa palettes like this that has some green shades, but it was more of a brighter green color in that, um, in that palette versus the ones that are in here. So maybe we can do a little side by side. I do actually own the Emeralds Obsession palette as well. So maybe I can pull that out and show you guys a little side by side. side. So let's get back to this guy right here. Like I said, this is the uh, Khaki Haze Obsession palette. Um, it is a nine pan palette and it looks like this. I'm holding it upside down so you guys can see. Um, nine shades, it comes with one, two, three, four shimmers and five mattes, which are all, um, there's some warm tones in there, some transition shades. Um, the one that I'm most excited about is this color right here. Um, and then also this kind of pinky green, du it looks like a duochrome shade. Um, it doesn't have the names of the shades on this, uh, part of the palette nor on the back and I have watched a couple reviews on this palette and I noticed um, nobody really mentioned the names it had seemed to not have names for the shades however if you look at the kind of unicarton that it comes in on the back of the unicarton it does have the name so um, I may or may not be referring to the shades by their shade names based on what's um, here so like I'll run you through a couple of them maybe I'll go through them right now and don't mind my gross band-aid. I just had the worst luck ever. Yesterday, I smashed my finger moving my desk. And then later in the day when I was cooking, I cut my finger with the knife, the same finger. So hence the band-aid. So we'll just ignore that. So, okay. So we're going to go over the shade names. I'm just going to look at the back of the unicarton and, and go, um, go one by one. So the first shade right here is called Light Gold Shimmer. The second shade, which is this pinkish color, that is called Soft Pink Matte. The third shade right here is called Pink Green Duochrome. The fourth shade right here is Espresso Matte. This shade in the middle is Khaki Matte. We have Olive Gold Shimmer, which is this guy right here. This one right here is Milk Chocolate Matte. This one in the last row in the middle is Copper Shimmer. And the last shade is Camel Matte. So those are the nine names. Again, if you needed, if you wanted to, for whatever reason, know the names of the shade, it is on the back of the unicorn, so you can always look there. So what I thought we'd do today is test it out. I'm gonna do an eye look using these shades um, and see what we come up with. Like I said, I'm most excited about this olive green shimmer and this duochrome pinky color. Um, so let's pull out the Emerald Green Obsession Palettes just so we can do a side-by-side -side and that way you guys get an idea of what the differences are if you were interested in purchasing this guy right here or are not sure compared to the Emerald Obsession Palettes, um, just so you guys have a bit of reference. Let me grab that. 
Okay, so this is the Emerald Obsessions palette. The packaging is different. This one, the Haze, Khaki Haze, comes in a plastic container, and this one is in cardboard paper con um, container or palette um, packaging. So if we open that up, you can see these are more emerald, richer green, um, or lighter green, brighter green colors along with the shimmers as well. So you got this one. Um, this one, I feel, these two, um, might be kind of similar, especially this one, to one in the Khaki Haze palette. So if we do a side-by-side, -side, so we've got the Emerald and the Khaki Haze. I hope I'm not blocking it. Um, the Emerald obviously has a lot more quote-unquote green shades versus the Khaki Haze has more of brownish green, more olive tones. Um, so that's the difference between the two. I love both of them for different reasons. Um, however, I am really excited to dive into the Khaki Haze um, palette, especially now with the season changing. With fall, I feel like this is going to be able to transition light and nicely and we'll get some really pretty looks out of it. You could also do really uh, everyday look using that pink again i'm holding it upside down because of the mirror that pink color this camel tone color um so let's get into it i just realized i didn't even tell you guys how much this costs so i believe these retail for 29 dollars. i'm pretty sure that's the same that the older mini obsessions palettes um, retailed for. It's a great starter if you're looking to uh, trying out the Huda Beauty formula. Her bigger palettes range I believe about $65 a piece um, so it's a good price to just get into it and test out and see whether or not you like the formula and therefore then if you want to commit to buying the larger palette. All right, so I already have my base done. Um, I went ahead and did my base, my foundation, bronzer, uh, and everything, and I didn't prime my eyes. However, I did get some concealer and uh, foundation on my eyes, so I'm just gonna smooth that out so it's not creasing. Uh, I generally, when I'm doing my makeup, get um, just use whatever concealer is left over on my sponge and move it onto my eyelids. I have pretty pigmented eyelids so um, I kind of use that as my base and then um, I am going to use a little bit of eyeshadow primer today um, just to help the formula or help it stick. I'm hoping to wear this for the rest of the day so I really want it to stick and I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Prime Potion. Um, this is an OG classic so I'm just going to put some of that on my eyelid. Helps give us a, a slight tacky base um, and I am going to bring it up a bit higher towards my brow bone and do the same on the other side. I went ahead and primed the other eye. I also pinned back uh, my hair just so it's out of the way um, and let's dive right in. Okay so I have my brushes right here. Um, let's see what do we want to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take that soft pink color on a blending brush and just kind of put it in the crease um, as a transition up at the top. So let's dive in there. I'm just taking some on a fleshy, fluffy brush. It's a, There's a little bit of kick up and it's going to start. Give me a little bit wash of color. It's a pretty color. It's blending nicely. I am going a bit uh, higher up towards the brow bone. I have a bit of a hooded uh, eyelid, so I like to take it up a little bit further so you can actually see the color. I'm feeling like I want to do a halo today, a halo eye, so it's pretty dramatic for it still being <laughs> early afternoon, but oh well. So it's blending really nicely. I see no skipping, um, no patchiness. This tends to be, well, this tends to be my my good eye um, where everything seems to work out. It's this other eye that we have that I generally have problems with. So we'll see when we blend it over there. I like to build shadows up. So I don't necessarily prefer really pigmented shadows that when I tap in and put it in, it's just a boom of pigment. Um, I find that harder for me to work with. Um, so I like to be able to build up where it still has enough pigment, but I can keep building it as I go. Um, it's just easier for me that way. And then also it's easier, I feel like, to clean up or to fix if you've made a mistake. 
curious to compare this pink color um, to the pink shades in her uh, new nude palette that came out over a year ago, 2018, um, to see if it's similar to shades in that one. I know a lot of people were comparing the Khaki Sands Obsession palette to her nude mini palettes that came out last year to I think the shade Light in the nude series ones um, and there were some similarities. Um, that's another reason why I didn't purchase the Sands one because it just seemed like colors in there were very similar to colors I already had. Um, and then the purple one, although purple is my favorite color, um, and I love purple eyeshadows. I find that with her shade, her shadows, with Huda Beauty's shadows, the purple and the like burgundy red colors, I get in a reaction to them um, on my eyes, on my eyelids. So my eyelids start to be really irritated and um, my eye gets really red and irritated and it's just not, um, just haven't been able to figure out what the ingredient is in hers that cause that reaction. Um, it's happened with a few other shadows um, as well. I can't think of any off the top of my head right now, but it's mostly like those colors. Oh, I remember there was a ColourPop Super Shock shadow that was this really beautiful bright purple uh, color and the same thing happened. Um, so I still have it, but I just haven't used it. I probably should throw it away. It's probably expired, dried out by now anyway. So, okay, so that is the soft matte pink color. Um, as you can see, like I said, this is the eye that, well, actually, hey, that did really great. So I usually get skipping um, on this area of my eye, um, on my left eyelid. I don't know why, um, but it doesn't seem to have skipped wow that's i'm impressed okay and no fallout guys so far okay all right the next shade that we're gonna go in with um is i'm gonna go in with this color in the middle and that is the most khaki of them all let me see that color is a khaki matte so we're gonna go in with that and again we're gonna do a halo so let's see what brush here do i want to use so I'm gonna use this kind of small packer brush. This is by Alamar Cosmetics, and I'm gonna take that, um, dip it right in, pack some color, dust it off, and I am going to just tap it on the outer corner of my eye. Again, I don't wanna sound like a broken record, guys, but I like to build the color up. It is quite pigmented. That is a pretty, khaki color I love that color I'm kind of feeling that like in outer third of my eyelid I am taking it it's getting in the crease so that's okay Just, wow I really like this color guys I'm happy with the placement of the color I think that's good i'm gonna take my blending brush that we were using and i'm gonna take a smaller blending brush than this. this guy right here and i'm gonna dip into a different color i'm gonna dip into this color down here i believe that was the milk chocolate matte just a little bit on the brush tap it off and i'm gonna try and blend this harsh line here very minimal fallout there's nothing there next thing we're gonna do we're gonna decide what color we want to do for the halo so like I said the colors that really spoke to me when I was looking at this palette was this guy right here um, and this pink green duochrome I kind of am leaning towards doing the pink green duochrome although the olive green shimmer is so pretty Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go in with the pink green duochrome. So I'm gonna do it on a brush first, a flat shader brush. And then if that doesn't work, we will um, do it with our fingers. So going into that pink green duochrome color, uh, not much seems to be coming off on the brush. Okay, that's, the brush is a no. 
we're gonna go in with our finger. So I'm gonna go in with my ring finger and just kind of really go in there so you can see the color there and set it, oh wow, right in the middle. Take it up into the crease. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I like that. Um, it seems to be a little stiff in the pan. Um, so you can see, you know, I've dipped my finger in. It seems to be a little stiff in the pan, but it is coming off um, pretty pigmented on my finger. I don't remember her other shimmers doing that. I recall them to be a lot more creamy to the touch, but maybe that's just me. Yeah, that's really pretty. So I'm gonna take it up into the crease. I kind of want to play with one of the other colors, so maybe do like the olive green shimmer kind of on the side. So let's try that. Yeah, the olive green shimmer seems to be a lot more creamy than that duochrome, and so I'm just gonna tap that on the edges where it blends in with the darker color. Okay, can't really see it. It did dull down a bit, a bit of that pink, so. I don't think I like that. I like the pink to be the pop in the middle. Okay, there we go. And so that's what we have so far. So I'm gonna go back in with that khaki color and just add tap just on the sides. So I'm noticing with that pink, now that I'm looking in, in a bigger mirror, there is um, quite a bit, there is some fallout. So it was probably a good thing that we used that primer um, to help most of it stick. I think the next time I use this um, palette, I, I will do my eyes first, just because let's try and dust that off and see how much of it comes off. So I had powdered my under eye, but I didn't put a lot of powder. Yeah, those flecks are sticking to my face. I've got quite a bit here in this area. So I would suggest doing your eyes first if you plan to use this palette, especially using the glitters, because it's just everywhere. Okay. All right, well, I really like that. So let's go ahead and just blend uh, out here the these lines. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the other eye and I will be right back and we can do the lower lash line. Okay. Other eye done. So on this eye right here, I did do something different. I ended up just going straight into that duochrome shade with my finger versus using the brush. And I feel like with that, there was a lot less fallout on this eye. So I would say if you're going to use the duochrome, definitely do it with your finger and not with a brush. Or if you're going to use a brush, maybe sp spray it with some setting spray or some fix plus before you go in or just to be safe on both ends, um, just do your eyes first. Um, but I'm really liking the way this is turning out. I think it looks really pretty. It looks a really nice um, fall look. Um, and this eye right here, like I mentioned, I get that patch here where most shadows tend to skip. It did skip a little bit with that khaki uh, matte shade. I don't know if you can see it, um, but not too bad. I've definitely had other shades that are much worse and much no noticeable. And so once I do my mascara, um, it likely won't show, or if you're gonna wear falsies, if I wear falsies, then it doesn't show at all. So I'm really happy with it. Let's go ahead and do the lash line. Um, I'm not, how do I say this? Um, I really like a blank lash line uh, usually. However, with this look, I feel like we could take it a little darker. I'm gonna go in with the shade. I'm gonna kind of mimic what I have going on top. Um, I just might use um, that, this gold or maybe this copper shade in the middle on the bottom lash line. Let's take a look. So let's get a small little brush here. So we're going to go in with um, this last shade right here. It's kind of, you know, went in too hard. So let's see. And I'm going to take it on my lower lash line. This is a scratchy brush. I don't like that one. Okay, I'm going to go back in and use the brush that we use to kind of blend those lines. Um, and again, going back into that sh same shade and just kind of smoke out that lower lash. 
as I'm doing this, I realize that I just said I was gonna mimic the colors on the lid. Um, apparently not, <laughs> um, but we'll take advantage and use as many colors in this palette as we can. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we've got both of them there. Um, I like the way that's looking. Uh, let's do a little bit of liner uh, on my inner, on my waterline. Um, I'm gonna do this color pop. It's kind of like a bronzy shade. It's called Overboard. Um, this is one of their gel cream liners. Okay, I like that. What do you guys think? I think it complements that camel matte that we put on their lower lash line well. And then let's do um, an inner corner. And for the inner corner, I'm gonna take this gold shimmer, so it's the first shade in there, and I'm gonna take it on this pencil brush. Just kinda tap it. I think these shimmers are much better with your fingers, um, however, I can't get my finger really in there, so that's unfortunate. I feel like it could definitely give you more of a pop if you used your finger. Not to say it's not, it's it's bad, it's not, it's pretty, but I would have liked it to be more intense. Okay, there we go. All right, let me do some, I'm gonna do my Mascara, um, finish off my face. I still need to do my blush and then we'll come back and um, talk about our final thoughts. And we're back with the finished look. So I went ahead and did uh, my uh, highlight, my blush, mascara, and I did a kind of a nude mauve lip, um, which I think complements this eye look uh, nicely. Overall, guys, I really like the way this eye look turned out. Um, I haven't done a halo in forever, um, but this is really pretty. My only uh, con I would say with this palette would be the fallout um, on the shimmers. Um, that duochrome, I had hoped it to be a bit more intense in um, in pigment when I put it on. Um, so note to self and note to you guys, if you're gonna use that duochrome, number one, using your fingers probably the best. Number two, if you're gonna use a brush, a setting spray, and number three, probably do your eyes first um, before you do your base. Um, yeah, so I would, I really love it. I love the shades. This is exactly the kind of khaki green color that I've been looking for. Um, so I'm really happy with that. The price on it, $29, not bad at all. Uh, it comes with a great mirror. You guys saw me using it throughout this um, review and tutorial. Um, so really, um, I think it's a steal. If you've been interested in trying out the Huda Beauty formula, I think getting one of these mini obsession palettes is a great way to get yourself introduced to it and try it out. And that way, if you want to commit to the larger palette, um, I prefer the small ones from the larger palettes anyway. Um, so yeah, the Khaki Haze mini obsessions palette, $29 um, available at Sephora at the Huda Beauty shop or shop Huda Beauty website. I will put a link in the description box below if you guys want to check them out. They're not affiliate links. I'm just putting the straight um, link to Sephora and to Huda Beauty's shopping website. Um, so I hope you guys like this look. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you picked up any of the Haze Mini Obsessions palettes, which one you picked up, and also um, if you liked it or not. Also, if you like this eye look, give me a thumbs up and share this video. It really helps out my channel as I'm starting out, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.